New information on that sexting scandal in Canyon City. At an emergency community meeting tonight, parents found out the problem is much bigger than anyone first thought. And Carrie on News Channel 13's Emily Allen is live from the school where that meeting just wrapped up. And new tonight, Emily, those students involved could face felony charges. James and Heather, the police chief tells me that this could be a huge investigation with potentially hundreds of victims and people involved. Now we're hearing reports that the students were collecting these pictures and then distributing them. So obviously this is going to be a very lengthy investigation. Secret apps used to disguise nude photos on students' phones. And until this week, hundreds of pictures swapped like trading cards in and outside the halls of Canyon City High School. You know, it's up to us to educate the kids mm -hmm. and give them what their consequences are. If you act in this manner, this is what your consequence is going to be. I think it's a bit ridiculous that people need to go that far to try to hide things. The superintendent tells worried parents this isn't a school district issue, this is a nationwide issue. School staff are now learning there are hundreds of apps keeping these photos from parents' praying eyes. There are apps that disguise these photo vaults. Now, if you click here, it looks like a calculator, but you type in your password, and boom, you're into this secret folder. And from here, allowing students to store hundreds of these photos on their phone without parents even noticing. Do I think parents should be very concerned? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. As we all know, if images get out on the internet, they can go anywhere and they can live there for a long, long time. Students swapping photos could face felonies for child pornography. And if photos are hidden on parents' technology, adults are also at risk. Parents need to be having conversations with their kids about whether that's something that their children are in possession of, whether those are items that exist in their households and, and within members of their family. The scandal has trickled down to middle school, with some eighth graders pictured. So far, the school has forfeited its football game, and the school hopes that shutting down these apps powers off this scandal in other communities. Investigators don't know if any of these photos have been posted on the internet. Now it's potential, or there is potential that hundreds of students could face felonies. The district attorney's office said that is yet to be determined. They're obviously going to have to go through all the process of this investigation. In Canyon City, Emily Allen, KRDO, News Channel 13. Yeah, big consequences there, and these crimes could fall under the school's policies regarding misuse of technology as well as cyberbullying. Punishments will be decided on a case by case basis. A student with 50 pictures on their phone and evidence they coerced other students into sending them would face different consequences than someone who took a photo of themselves and sent it 